awesomeness with 744 horsepower. So here we go. Oh shit! Oh my god! ladies and gentlemen you can see that i finally did it i finally put a whipple on my 2019 mustang gt i'm totally kidding this is of course a 2018 10r80 base model mustang and it belongs to derek Derek over here and you can follow him on instagram he doesn't have youtube but instagram sizemore 78 and i'll link all of this in the video and below as well but this thing looks awesome so it is race red just like mine and you paid how much for this guy um 28 because i bought it used 28 how yeah. many miles were on it it was high eighteen thousand. that's not that that's yeah. not that bad for though 18 it's high but in general it's not that high right and this was a rental car yeah i bought it at auction as a rental so yeah i know it sounds crazy but all the weird break-in issues that some people were having i was kind of like if i could get something that had miles on it already that made it past that point and it's still together yeah <laughs> i'd be more interested in modding that versus one that doesn't have any miles on it awesome yeah we're, we're definitely going to talk more about that once we get in the car and drive this but it is a whipple stage two right stage two, stage two and he is catless american racing headers and you can see this glorious thing here and uh your highest dyno is what 744? 744 god almighty awesome awesome power so it's pretty cool that you can actually, you know, buy stuff like this now, you know, at, at such a great price. And like he was talking about in an auction. So and it was a rental car before and uh, just throw giant, nor enormous amounts of power at this thing. Yeah, this is this is uh, I didn't know that you had this. This looks good. All right, cool. So we're out, we're out here filming and then we have fans that just drive up and and say hello. So. This thing is sharp. I need to, yeah, I'd love to do a review on that. It looks really, really good. I like the wheels. Look really good. All right, let's check out the interior here. It is a base model 10R80, as you can see. And he's got a Lund tune on the car, but this is how this all looks there. Of course, it comes with the Rockstar. Just kidding. But we were just discussing. So we're actually talking about you know, doing stuff like this on your own. And, you know, the, one of the reasons I actually started YouTube, and a lot of people don't know this, is so that I could show the audience, everybody that watches this stuff, that you don't need to go to shops. You can actually save money if you do mods on your own, in your garage, all of that. So what he has here is he's got like the stock 18-inch wheels, all season tires. He has plans to actually get rid of those and go with something different. Um, and then, because uh, you, you obviously need to put the power to the ground. So you're going to need some more rubber, some suspension mods, yeah. all of that. And then uh, you can start racing this thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's going to hopefully be a first pass this weekend at, a, at the track. At the, at the call-out thing, at yeah. The, yeah, YouTube semi-call-out. Semi, call out. semi the Mustang call-out um, is what we're going to call it. I'm, I'm going to put some different wheels and tires on it, but I'm not going to launch it super hard because I'm still on the stock drive Just shaft. learn the and car. Just yep. see how it comes out the whole. Yep. With 315 gears, it does help a little bit. It's not as hard on the rear end. Yeah. When you like that instant hit that you would get in a more aggressive gear. So we'll see what it does. Well, I think it looks really, really good. So let's get inside of the car and take it for a spin. Let's go. All right, guys, we are about to take off in this hot rod, and we're going to talk a little bit about what makes this thing so special and, and why you might want to do something similar to yours like this. You know, do you need, you know, a car like mine with every option in it, or, you know, is a base model the better buy? So, and then... Of course, this is a rental car. It was a rental car and had, you know, several thousand miles on it before he bought it, but he bought it at a great price and then spent the extra money that he would have spent with the bells and whistles. 
with the bells and whistles. Car. Yep, and then um, just put it towards the blower, uh, horsepower, and you know, you I know. Think, I think it all depends on what you want to do. If you want to stay stock and just enjoy the car and keep it stock, but if you want to build it, it just all depends on you what you can live without. The 2018 2019. Mustang GT is an awesome canvas, the blank canvas that you have to work with. Like me, I've got the Magnaride, I've got this, that, and the other, but, you know, I, I like that because I'm spoiled, but, yeah. you know, yeah. for, especially guys that just want a lot of power, but they don't care about the, the other stuff, you know what right. I mean? Right. This is definitely the better way to do it, and who cares if it's got a few miles on it? Sure. I, I really think that. Um, I think that you did a good thing here and just spent that extra money that you would be spending for a new car and just put right. towards towards the blower. And we got 744 horsepower, catless long tubes, stock stock exhaust uh, with this stage two Whipple. So we're gonna find some back roads here and we're gonna unleash hell. It's, uh, it's about 52 degrees and we are an all season tire so we're not going to kill ourselves, but we are going to experience this 10 r awesomeness with 744 horsepower. So here we go. Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god! expecting that that thing launched hard as yeah it surprises you because of the you know the 315s and you feel like it's not that temperamental but then when you hit it and it hits it's like holy crap god bless yeah. man that felt strong yeah. Oh. Yeah, good. oh i know everybody's like xander um twin turbo this that and the other but i'm like god it's hard bless. To, to miss that torque <sighs> that was immediate that was great yeah it's not as, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not as undrivable as people think. I think sometimes people have an idea like, well, that's just going to be uncontrollable on the street. But it's no. really not. Yeah, that's that's a good point. So right now we're driving at speed limit, 50 mile an hour. And it in is, Mexico. Yep, in Mexico always. Which is conveniently right down the road from, you know, my house. Yeah. It's, um, it's very, very tolerable. And that is probably something that might scare a lot of people. It's like, man, you know, everybody wants this big, this, this all this power, power but, right. you know, they don't want to live with it. Sure. I'd imagine if you're driving around, you can tell yeah. me if it still gets I'm, good gas mileage and all that. Yeah, uh, 22 uh, on the highway, freeway. Same, um, same thing as well. City yeah. driving around 19, 18, somewhere around there. Yeah. Um, and I'm daily driving to work. I drive it in the rain, in the cold. It's still my daily driver. I don't have a second vehicle yet. That's what's so great about Mustangs and why I love them so much is because you can have all this power. It's like having your cake and be able to eat it too. Right. You can have all this power and you can just daily drive it. Sure. It's, it's reliable. It's, it's great. You still get good gas mileage. Yeah. Even with 700, north of 700 pump horsepower. Gas, on even, pump gas, 95. Right. Yeah. Oh, on, on E, it's going to just pull like a freight train. So let's take it. There's a corner coming up here, but let's see if we can get it to shift to the gears. That shift's pretty good. I yeah. mean, there was a slight teeny hesitation there right. that you felt. Yeah. Um, but that's that's great. It's on. So Traction control is on. It's killing the power. It's killing power a little bit, but it didn't really smell. No, it didn't. It no. just, those, I think those 315 gears really help, help, yeah, helps with that. So. so I'm anxious to see what it would do. I think it would honestly be a better quarter mile car than it would an eighth mile car, but I, who knows? A little bit more top yeah. end. Yeah, right. I agree. Because it needs to stretch its legs. Yes. Um, eighth mile, it's just kind of getting to do some kind of force induction on mine. Yeah, you'll love it. It might have to be like around tax season or something. <laughs> yeah, but, it's not you know, far away. We'll see, we'll see what happens with this channel. Um, help me out. You gotta hit the like button because it helps the video spread. Subscribe, turn the notification bell on so you don't miss videos. It's gonna be a busy week. So we have the, the call out thing coming out this weekend. Man, this thing is a, is a blast to drive. You know, I don't really miss having the, the extra luxury and all that stuff. Right. You just have all of that power under the right. hood, on demand. Right, it kind of takes your mind off of it. Yeah, that, and that, that's the good thing about the, the uh, you know, positive.
across the displacement blowers is this instant torque. Yeah. Instantaneous torque just pulls. Right. Um, and I have it. I know some people have commented on other videos that they are almost like stretched. Yeah. Um, some people have commented on other videos with positive displacement, uh, positive displacement blowers that they feel like on the top end they kind of die off. Yeah. My dyno graph kept pulling all the way past 7,400 RPMs. Like it never died off. And when you get on this, if you can get on a freeway or something and hit it, it keeps going and going. It doesn't. It never feels like it gets slower. Right. In the higher, it actually to me pulls harder in the higher RPMs than it does the lower RPMs. And that's good. That's good yeah. that it keeps going. There is no dead spots, and uh, that that would definitely help for for quarter mile time for sure. Even even like just the way that this car is, it is a violent, violent launch. Uh, we're not even going to try from a dig or not like that. <laughs> we're just we have to have an open parking lot. Yeah, we wouldn't go anywhere, I don't yeah. think. But, um, yeah, from, from hitting it at like 40 mile an hour, it just, yeah. just launches me in the seat. That's awesome. So now we are on the highway in Mexico, and we're going to see what this thing will do. Let's go to about 60 mile an hour. Yeah, that's more around there. I hit my head! Oh my god! Keeps going, and I, I don't even think I heard the supercharger whine at all. But we'll see on camera. Oh, that is a neck breaker, dude! Yeah. I just just yeah. bashed the back of my skull. Yeah, oh my god! I know. All within the speed limit, of course, but I don't know how high. That was uh, that was seventy five speed limit, yeah. really fast. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, E85, like an X5. And no, it's on the lid. It's, it's either wheels and tires next or exhaust next. It's right now, it's uh, a factory suitcase. Probably wheels and tires. Yeah. So, how much did you pay for the Whipple kit? The Whipple, because I got the red, that's like $600 more, and I wanted the stage two. So, I think it was like 80 8500 or a little more. Okay. Um, just for the Whipple, and then for the Labor, I think it was another. For the labor and then for the tune and the engage and after taxes it was you know it was like 14 grand. Oh my god! But uh, that's why we were talking about earlier when you pay that shop labor because I, from my experience, the uh, performance shops charge more than the actual dealership because the dealership only charges 1,200 to pull the whole motor out and put it back in. Um, shops, what I'm seeing, charge double that. So yeah. you know what this car relates to as well is. Those, those Mustangs you can get from like Lebanon Ford. Yeah, Lebanon Ford, yeah. Um, yeah, that's about right. Because, because you, yeah, you pay just under yeah. $40,000. You yeah. get this car, yeah. um, and I think they come with the sticks. You probably pay a little over 40000 with sure. a 10 already, but you can get a Whipple, yep. you can get twin turbo, yep. you can get uh, Roush, whatever you want, you know, whatever you want for $40,000. And forty grand for that amount of horse for seven fifty right you know eight hundred horsepower depending if you go with the, the twin turbo God, right. I mean that is that is uh yeah it's 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 your choice do you want to finance that extra money right and have it in your monthly payment or would you rather try to pay for it and not have that monthly payment it's fourteen thousand dollars a lot of money yeah you know I mean because it you know me paying twenty eight thousand for this car plus the fourteen I'd have to do the math and figure out what that exact amount is fourteen whatever it was but I could probably have bought pretty close to buying a car from Lebanon Ford already built. Yeah. Um, but if I'm not mistaken, I know that they do axles and drive shafts and everything else. You yeah. can get it fully. There's another out. dealership too that is starting Beachmont to, Ford, I think. That's right. Yeah. Beachmont. Um, yeah. They're starting to they jump on that that whole game. And I think that there's there's quite a bit of a, a market for it. All right. I hear you. <laughs> we, we can race. Just yeah. a stock Mustang. No big deal. Stock, rental, base model Mustang. Intake and tune. Yep. I'm um, waiting on uh, VMP to release their. Yeah, package. I think theirs is going to be. Nasty. Right now, I think for this model 18 and up, Whipple's the way to go until VMP comes out because I think VMP will be maybe at least equal, maybe even better. Who knows? Maybe. Or do you need the creature comforts? You know, or do you, would you just rather have the power? And me personally, I like I gotta have both. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people don't. They they just want their thirty thousand dollar Mustang. And then they go right for the power, and especially if it's like a you know a, a, a race car build, right, right, or something like that, or a drag car build. Sure. Uh, yeah, I like it. I would be I'd be plenty happy with a whipple in my car. This is uh, this okay. is a, a joy. I really appreciate you letting me drive this oh, no. thing. Blessed. Uh, it does scare you a little bit a couple <laughs> of times. Oh 
no. I'm, <laughs> well, when you're a passenger, it's different. You just, I'm just more about. You feel racing. a little bit more when you're a passenger, I think. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Probably. Um, I definitely probably almost gave myself a concussion. Yeah. I really wasn't worried because I knew you had the Hellcat and you've already driven the other fast cars. Yeah. So. Yeah. So that is very, very true. Yeah. High horsepower cars, you know, a lot of people can't handle it, but I've been around a few. So if you guys want your car reviewed, definitely let me know as well. Um, I, it'd be, you know. He hasn't wrecked one yet. No, I haven't wrecked one yet. <laughs> wow. Let's, let's don't, let's, jinx let's, it. don't jinx yeah, that. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I know I've said it a couple of times. I'm really enjoying this. It's, just, it's so, because it's so quiet. Right. Um, it's yeah. just, it feels like it's, it's, it's a sleeper almost. car yeah. pretty much. That's one reason I kind of want to keep it stock-ish looking to where, you know, I'm not even a grudge racer, but still it's nice to have that yeah. shock value yeah. to people. Yeah, people are, oh, it's just a Mustang come right in it, and yeah. you take off, you hit it, and you're just gone. Or if you're on a back road or in the freeway somewhere in the middle of nowhere and someone pulls up next to you, they, they think it's, oh, it's just a, a Mustang. And yeah. When you blow by them, it's like, holy crap. It's just a five liter Mustang. No yeah, it's not. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. I think that this is an incredible value. I think that he's doing the right things with his car. Check him out on Instagram if you want to follow his build and see all the great things to come. And uh, it's going to be a busy week, so definitely subscribe. Turn the bell on. you got to turn the bell on so you don't miss anything. And I'll see you guys later.